or yes residents table fresh requests before Sunday as headsmen attack communities. Hello, my wonderful people. We all know what has been going on. Our dear brother Sunday, thank God for him who has made the already existing uh, trouble going on in the South more prominent, brought to the attention of the whole world. You know, it's not just Nigerians that are following us. So the whole world is seeing what is happening and they are seeing really. And very soon, you know, we will begin to get interventions from every quarter. Anyway, with regards to Sunday, a lot of water went under the bridge. And then um, right now, uh, another community in Oyo State is actually asking him, please come. There is, uh, you know, this hurts men. God will deliver us from them. Please, you let God use you. You know, let's carry on and get all the details. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you so much. Your residence table fresh request before Sunday Igboho as headsman attacks community. Residents of Kojola village via Ayeta in Iparopo, north local government area of Yoyo state, has called on the Yoruba activist Sunday Adeyomo, popularly known as Sunday Igboho, to save them from Fulani headsmen led by Wakio. Residents of Oyoto has revealed that two villages, including Kojola and Bagbo Idaro, located in the Yoto local government area of the state, have been attacked. Speaking to the punch on Sunday, one of the farmers in the village, Peter David, alleged that Walker and his fellow armed Fulani men have driven away farmers from the village since they served him a quick notice. According to Dave, David, government security agencies, including Amute Kukob, has failed to confront Water, who they accused of using sophisticated weapons and terrorizing the village. David, who owns a farm in Kojola village, narrated that the people who came from Yoto to hand over the quick notice to the Fulani leader narrowly escaped because they were well fortified. He said when the crisis started in Igago, the owner of the lands where Walter is staying also said he should leave. These ones were attacked and they ran back. He, Walter, has driven farmers away from the village. This is harvest time for cash crops and the people have been driven away. Cash crops are either wasting or Fulanis are harvesting them for themselves. Just a few of us who are real men are still around. All the women and children and men have fled the village. Even those of us in the village also go to town at night. We don't sleep there. Some soldiers came and we are told the Fulanis did not allow them soldiers to go into their settlement. They were said to have just discussed with them on the road, but they were not allowed into their settlement as the Fulani headsmen did not allow them get into their settlement. We are pleading with Chief Sunday Igboho to come to our rescue. The police and Amutekun has refused to help us, so we are left stranded. We will appreciate it if you can come here to help us. The government of today do not know what we are going through. Our governor does not understand and has not even said a word with all that is going on. He said he sent the soldiers. They did not come in. They only discussed with the Fulani headsmen on the road without even going in to have a search to see if really they have any weapon or made any form of arrest. The people have sent the villagers out and today the village is all empty because of the atrocities. We cannot continue like this. Please come to our rescue. Please save us. A lot is going on with us and we need help immediately. We will appreciate if you can come to us and help us. Things are not the way they seem. The government is doing nothing. Even Amutekon has not come. No one is helping us. We need you, Chief Sunday. Please come to our rescue. So this is another uh, town in uh, another community in Oyo State that has good that are, that are going through a lot of uh, you know untold hardship with regards to all that is happening right now. Nigerian government is doing nothing about the security situation of the country. People are crying. In Oyo State, in Ogun State, they are doing nothing. And when Sunday move, 
they will tell you that he has no constitutional right to come and defend or speak to the people or send people out or give anybody a quick notice. Nigerian government is doing nothing. Today we presented you with a news that um, the Eastern Security Network last night, you know, drove out Fulani headsmen from Abia State. We'll see what the presidency will do, whether they will release a, a battalion of uh, army and soldiers and personnel to go there and uh, do one or two things. We don't know yet, but we know that a lot is actually happening with regards to you know, security of this country. And we hope that, the, uh, that you know, uh, uh, really, truly, there will, be, there will be some form of help. Amuteko has, been, has started in some states, but they are not armed. Do you carry stick to face a man who is owing AK-47? Nigerian government will not give Amuteko ammunition to really face the enemy square on because they are the one. If, why, why would you want them to kill your messenger? Can't you see that the presidency is full and new presidency? Can't you see it for yourself? This presidency is Fulani presidency. Your president is a Fulani man. And you can see the way he, he quickly reacted when they told him that uh, 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 in your state they are giving his voice quick notice. He quickly sprang into action and began to speak because he does not want anything to happen to his messengers. So you can see that uh, we are in a government of uh, a Fulani regime. But guess what? All that is about to change. No more. We're not going to allow it to happen. No more. Are we going to fold our arms and allow that to happen? In the north, we need everybody to stand up. In the south, we need everybody to rise up. You cannot fold your arms and continue to allow this to happen. You are giving the life and the destiny of your children away by keeping quiet and allowing this government to do nothing. You know, if Sunday rises up now, so okay, let us go there. Let us send these people away. They will say the guy has started again and people and they are not doing anything about it to to save the people to save the situation nobody's doing anything about it everybody's rather they quiet and behaving as if nothing is happening how do you solve this matter my people leave us a comment let's hear your thoughts let's know what you think because if sunday goes there now on this invitation they will say yes we said it before and who knows whether they are trying to set a trap for him only god knows we don't know. It's all speculations, but these people are crying and asking for help. What do you think? Leave us a comment. Hmm? Let's hear. Let's, let's talk together on this matter because the government is doing nothing and these people are desperate. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. God bless you. Bye for now.